finding the best stuff to get prepared for the 30 Day Skinny Jeans Challenge. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we got from the stores because we're of course all about Farmer's Market and we spend most of our time there, but there are a few things that you can't get from Farmer's Market. So we went to Co-op in Santa Monica and we got some awesome stuff. I'm going to show you. These are really good for you. I'm going to go through it. We got some raw cream and Ann Taylor and I, we're not going to be doing the whole coffee thing, but if you must do the coffee thing, we suggest doing raw cream. So no non-fat milk, no half and half, none of that stuff. If you're going to do it, raw cream. And if you're not doing the coffee thing, which is going to be awesome for you, then you can also use this to thicken some of your soups or some dishes that you're going to cook with. And Taylor's actually going to go through um, a couple recipes with you and show you how you can actually use raw cream in some of your dishes, which is going to be so awesome for you guys. We got some uh, sauerkraut, which is pretty much fermented cabbage. Sounds pretty gross. <laughs> But this is the good stuff about it is that there are probiotics in here. So that's the deal with fermented stuff. And, and it's really good, especially with um, to uh, assist in digestion because of all this new protein that you're going to be ingesting in your body. You want to make sure that, you're, um, that your intestinal flora can handle it. So we want to make sure that you're all good down here. You know what I mean? Um, and if you got to, like, you know, cook with butter or margarine, well, first of all, margarine, toss it. You don't need that stuff anymore, especially, like, vegetable oils, not so much. You're going to use raw butter if for, to replace any other mar butter, margarine, or whatever, any buttery spread that you normally use. And the awesome stuff about this, number one, it's not pasteurized. Number two, it has tons of enzymes in there. So good stuff. Um, we got some coconut water kefir. And the reason why this stuff is so bomb.com is because, number one, it may help with your sugar cravings. And number two, there's, like, tons of probiotics in here. And it's just really good stuff. Like, it's a lot of live active cultures. So you have tons of options. If you want to stick with this, and, or you could do the, you know, fermented cabbage, do that. <laughs> We like to get all crazy. We're experimenting. We're, we're leaders for you guys. So we're, we're just trying to show you, like, all your different options. So I love this stuff, and it's kind of fizzy. It feels like I'm drinking soda, but I'm not. Um, coconut butter. This has been such a huge lifesaver for me and Ann Taylor. The two of us, we used to have sugar cravings, but we're working through that. And so we eat this stuff instead. So if we're wanting to, like eat a bunch of peanut butter or almond butter or have handfuls of almonds. We go to this stuff, and it's really high in saturated fat, but it's good saturated fat. The problem is not saturated fat. It's the issue they need to focus on is the source and the quality of saturated fat. So this stuff is really good for you. And, um, yeah, don't be afraid of that stuff. That study that was done in the 1980s on, like, the sugary foods with saturated fat in it, yeah, it's not fair. So this stuff is good. It's bomb. And it's good for you. Again, did I say it's good for you? Yeah, because it is. Um, and I also like to do little packets, so if I'm, like, running around like crazy instead of, like, going to Whole Foods and getting, like, a little sugary treat because I'm, you know, all about convenience, I'm just going to have, like, a little packet in my mouth. So it's a good little quick 200 calories just to keep my metabolism going. Um, and we also got this really awesome salad dressing, and, you know, salad dressing is really not the best stuff for you. If you're Ann Taylor and you are a salad dressing mm -hmm. master, then you're pretty damn lucky. But since most of you don't know her magic tricks yet... Um, if you live in Southern California, this is not going to be hard for you to find. And it is um, cucumber mint, so that's the awesomeness of it. And it has live active cultures in it. It's raw and it's really actually good for you. So we suggest stuff like this. So you want to be really conscious of like where you're getting your fats and um, you want to stay away from like vegetable oils and stuff like that. So we're making it simple for you guys. And you want to make sure you're staying hydrated. We went to this place called Beyond O2 today in Santa Monica on Main Street. And they have like a full on reverse osmosis, um, like, I don't know, not, it's like an operation, I guess you could say, and you can go in there and you can get water that's actually pH 9.5, and we're big fans of drinking everything out of glass, and check out this gorgeous bottle that I got today, it says love right there, because I'm all about love, um, and this is going to be what I'm going to be drinking out of, so I'm going to refill my glass bottle, because I don't want to get um, melted plastic in my water, because that's gross. So we're going to refill these guys and then refill this. So I'm going to stay hydrated like throughout the day. And you want to make sure that you're getting like good quality water because you know what? Bottled water industry, it's a whole bunch of crap. So know where you're getting your stuff. And um, yeah. So it's not just reverse osmosis, right? They add minerals into it. Yes. So it's alkaline. Exactly. And that's how you stay hydrated is from the minerals. And so a lot of bottled waters, they take all that stuff out. So you're pretty much drinking dead water. And who wants that? Not me. So we got this stuff. We're excited. Anything else you want to add, Ann Taylor? Well, first of all, let's take a little zoom in on, like, the freaking fridge. I mean, come on. Look at all this amazingness. 
Oh, yeah. So what all do we have in here? This one I'm really excited about, the beef skirt steaks, and it's grass-fed. That's, like, the coolest part. We all, where's our, where's our beef jerky? Ooh, these things. I'm so <laughs> excited about this. Look at this! This is going to be great for snacks. We're going to munch on these when we're, like, hungry and wanting to die. It's not going to happen, though, because we're going to be living. And we got some fresh eggs. We have what we have charred, kale, like, three different kinds of greens. Oh, we yeah. have some really amazing celery, asparagus, zucchini. Fennel. We do have fennel. We love fennel. Love. And, More um, water. yeah. And look at all these supplements. We are totally taking care of ourselves. We have soup. We have... Some digestive enzymes, l It's not just about what you eat. It's what you digest. Totally. And uh, some uh, GABA relaxer, L-glutamine. We're doing, we're doing some good stuff. It's we're really excited stuff. about it. So anyway, this is, this is what's happening. And we're, we're really excited to lead you guys through this transition because, you know, Ann Taylor and I are total foodies. And we love to eat delicious food. But we're making like conscious choice to eating food that nourishes our body and we're eating for life. And and so we're we're done with eating for convenience and just because it's a tasty little treat. So we're <laughs> we're gonna make everything that we're eating delicious because of course we want our food to taste good because we're foodies. But um but it's gonna be good for us and we're it's it's gonna be a journey for the both of us. We're working through it together and then also, we're excited to watch all the trans um, transformations with you guys. So, anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be checking in with you guys every day. And you can, of course, comment down here below on this video if you have any questions. And you can find us on Twitter. So, take care. Have an awesome night. See you guys later.